Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, and here at ITW 2018 in fabulous Chicago is my good friend, Mr. Eric Kontag, Executive Chairman of GlobeNet. Eric, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's such an honor, and I have to say, there's a long history of JSA TV interviews. He was one of my very first clients and uh, co-conspirators of JSA TV. He helped me launch this uh, video platform for us uh, back in 2008, I want to say, not to be just here. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an honor to be here, Jamie. It's, this is great. And the GlobeNet story is one, of course, near and dear to our hearts because it's such a, a story of growth, and you guys are unstoppable today. Uh, just announced uh, another example of, of that commitment to our industry. We have um, GlobeNet laying a new state-of-the-art submarine cable connecting Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo to Buenos Aires. So tell us. Tell us about this news. What can we l learn from it? Jamie, we're very, very excited uh, about the announcement that we did today. Uh, GlobeNet, once again, is extending our services to meet the demands of, of the market, the industry, and in partnership with customers. Um, so it's a natural extension of the GlobeNet system. It's uh, going to be a 2,500-kilometer submarine cable system connecting, starting with our cable landing station in Rio, um, express down to uh, Buenos Aires. Actually, we land in Las Toninas, Argentina, and then it, we have a new backhaul service that will connect into our POPs in Buenos Aires. And on that route, we're going to have a landing in Santos, which is basically the coast to, to Sao Paulo, being able to address both local traffic in Brazil as well as international traffic between Argentina uh, Brazil and uh, onwards to the United States. So, so this is a great project. We're very excited. We're really looking forward to finally having it in the water. And again, furthering that commitment from day one of you connecting North and South America. Yes, um, it, as you know, I mean, Globin from from day one has been investing in our infrastructure. Uh, we really cherish partnerships, and we talk to our customers, we talk to um, our partners, we listen, we try to see what's happening in the market. And this is an industry where you really have to keep your in infrastructure up to the highest operating condition. So in anticipation of market changes and demand, we have continuously done large-scale upgrades on our subsea cable system. We also extended the network into Colombia. We've replaced cable segments in the, on the globe net network. And more recently, uh, we completed the construction of our uh, first, let's say, purpose-built data center in the northern coast of Colombia. Uh, in the city of Barranquilla, right next to our cable landing station. Um, the other things that we've been working on um, is not only the, let's say, renovation, but expansion uh, of our cable landing stations. And we're also very proud that soon the NICBR, which is the Internet Exchange Point for Brazil, will be co-located with inside of our Fortaleza cable landing station. Wow. So we've expa been expanding. We've been repurposing to some extent, let's say, the infrastructure. We continue to invest in, in our assets. And, and this cannot happen without the close participation with our partners, with our vendors, uh, and of course, in having the team that really cares for our, our network and our company as if it was theirs. So, so this announcement for us is absolutely um, exhilarating. We're so happy uh, that we're bringing a new extension to the GlobeNet network, but tied to that as well, the other things that we have continuously done. And, and as you know, um, GlobeNet is, is well recognized by the industry and the market for our quality of services. Uh, we're very well recognized for bending over backwards, let's say, for our <laughs> customers. And, and this is yet another example of some of the things that we've been able to achieve um, at GlobeNet over the years and what, that we will continue to do in the years to come. And that, that brings to point, of course, uh, your commitment to uh, this industry and to infrastructure being recognized even at the World Communications Award um, recently. Uh, I was Best Regional Wholesale Operator. So congratulations there. Well, thank you very much. I, I think, you know, all these, uh, all these awards that we've been able to collect throughout the years really speak very, very highly of our team. And I'm very proud of every single member that we have in the GlobeNet family. Um, and it's an honor to be able to recognize by the industry because it does demonstrate that they see in us um, 
you know, that this is an operator that they can trust, right? This is a service provider that, that their entire business relies on. And um, as you know, more than 99% of the global internet is on subsea cables. Uh, and there are many of our anchor customers that we have in all the countries that we serve that exclusively are running on the globe net network. So we're very, very proud of that as well. And, and that's, uh, you know, every day you wake up and you have to think, you know, what is it that I need to do to ensure that we keep the highest uptime, the highest resiliency, and deliver the type of services that our customers need. You, your, your history of um, of delivering on that commitment uh, speaks for itself, and uh, the industry, uh, such as uh, the World Communications Awards, for example, recognizes that. And we couldn't thank you more for your commitment there. And um, one last question, so the question that that I've been known to ask Mr. Eric when he sits in the hot seat here at JSA TV, and you can kind of link through previous JSA TVs and uh, and see his response every time. But um, of course, knowing how customer driven you are, looking into your crystal ball, what can we expect of GlobeNet in the next coming six to twelve months ahead? Well, that's a tough question. I know. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, so look, our, our Brazil to Argentina cable in itself is, is a very large commitment and it's going to require a lot of work, a lot of collaboration. Um, we have an anchor partner that, that we're doing the project with, so there's going to be um, a lot of interaction over the next, um, let's say, six months uh, and until such time as the cable is actually in the water. So there's quite a bit of work that we're doing there. But as, as I mentioned earlier, we continue to expand, let's say, in our day-to-day -day capabilities in, in the markets that we serve, right? So the next, the next big thing, of course, is tied to really activating um, the IXC in, in Fortaleza. We've done an awful lot of work as well to revamp our cable landing station in Rio, where now our new cable is going to, is going to land. We continue to expand services terrestrially. Um, and I think you're going to see a lot a lot more of those activities. Um, and as you know, we've always tried to stay ahead of market demand. Um, these things take time. Building infrastructure is not something that happens overnight. Yeah. So you really need to work you know, very closely, very diligently with, with your partners, with your customers, to be able to anticipate that next, that next growth. No? And I think one of the things that, that if you look at any data source, um, like a telegeography or others in the industry, mm -hmm you're going to see that there is a pretty good, very positive growth rate on a yearly basis. So 40% CAGR into a region is continues to be impressive. I think infrastructure needs to be ready. It needs to be there. The, the user demand continues to grow. Uh, Latin America is great because to some extent you're still somewhat underserved. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing is you're preparing that infrastructure for the next wave of things, right? Um, we pay very close attention to what happens in the international market. And I've always said that, um, you know, whatever happens in the U.S., whatever happens in Europe or in Asia, eventually is going to come to Latin America, right. right? We have a little bit of an advantage. We have a slight delay in, in the market uh, adaption of these new technologies, but that gives us time as a company to, let's say, to prepare for that. Right. It's and a great preview. You can adapt quickly. Ab absolutely. So what we have to do is we need to take, let's say, those uh, technological advances and to some extent tropicalize them, mm. right, let's say, to be able to serve our markets um, in our region. So we will continue to do that. We're going to continue to do that very well and to deliver to our customers what we, what we have promised them. Yeah. So very excited about that. It's growth, but it's done uh, intelligently. So thank you so much for your insight and uh, for joining us again, Mr. Eric Contag, of course. And thank you for joining us viewers here on JSA TV. Happy networking.